The youth. Um, my biggest fear is that they will. All right, so I know I know a few things. I know that there's relationally, kids go through a stage where they put their faith in a person rather than in God. That's just the way things roll. They they have a person they like. I'm the personification, and which is a heavy pressure to be the personification, um, you know. But I've always it's always been my goal and intention to transfer that, to transfer their relationship to me to the Lord, because eventually they have to move on. Just like any kid, you move out of your house, you've got to be an adult. So they need to be Christian adults, and not have this this um, teenage relationship with me so much as a relationship with the living Lord. And my worst fear would be that they get upset with God, the, the unfairness or the unjustness of it, and they turn from the Lord. There's nothing more than I want than these kids walking with the Lord. That just cheers my heart more than anything, is kids walking with the Lord, you know, and just seeing them love each other. And so I want to see them take their faith serious. I want to see them uh, get into God's Word and get into loving each other and making those decisions about a life choice and a walk that they're going to make. You know, they're all struggling. They're all going through various things. And things like this can knock them off their boat. But we've talked about from day one under my ministry, authentic faith from the seven checkpoints. You know, and I believe that. Authentic faith is sticking with this. Weak faith would be given up right now. It's temporary. It's, I didn't get what I wanted. I didn't get the grade I wanted. I didn't get that date. And they give up their faith. And this is big. And so for me, for them to honor me through authentic faith, you know, and love, you know, that, that would just be, that would be my heart's cry right there, you know, and to carry on what we've taught and what they've seen in me to go do. Not that I'm any great example, but, you know, that's, that's what I want for them. I want their relationships to, to be improved with the Lord and each other. And so that's, that's what I want more than anything is for this to bring them close to each other and to God and to be great Christian adults, you know, 40, 50 years of Christian adults, generation after generation. That's, those are my goals as a as a as a youth pastor